You're putting on a patriotic party for the 4th of July, but how do you add independence inspiration to your event? Greg Lauk is here with ideas that are true to the red, white, and blue. Greg is the owner and designer of The Greenhouse, a fresh flower market in Hudson. So welcome back to the show. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Oh, we no problem. We have so many great ideas. So we want everything to be great when we have our holiday gatherings. Of gathering. course we do. So Absolutely. what ideas do you have? I can see them all here on the table. So let's start. All right, let's start room. at this side, right? Okay. All right, so we've got some really great mason jars. that, that These have been pre-painted, and they're really cool. They look very vintage, but you can do this at home. I've seen on Pinterest they're doing silver paint inside of mason jars mm. and making them metallic. Like you can paint them red, white, or blue. These happen to be white. So we have different sizes of mason jars. They're still really popular, whether you like it or not. And <laughs> we have some just brilliant blue hydrangea in these and some red roses. And we've just topped it off with some salal or lemon leaf. And that's a simple, quick, easy centerpiece to do. And can, so colorful and so pretty. Absolutely. Colorful and pretty. So those are gorgeous. And then, you know, we can move on to, to something like this. Okay. Um, this is a bubble bowl. And we lined it with an aurelia leaf. This is what an aurelia leaf looks like, which is kind of cool. And we put it down into the bowl to line it, and then we did this arrangement on top. And this is blue hydrangea, red Gerber daisies. These look like firecrackers or fireworks, these white Fuji mums, and then this blue thistle. And then we just topped it off with like some red, white, and blue flags. Excellent, you know? excellent. And that's kind of cute. And that's something that maybe, maybe a more advanced designer can do, but you have your base and you know, go for it. All right. So, and now we need to light up the night, right? Yeah, exactly. So we just have some creative ways to do some lighting for a party. We've taken this beaded, um, it's called just beaded uh, bulb wire, and we've wrapped it around these 10 and a half inch cylinder vases with some floating candles. This is something you can get your kids to do as well. Mm -hmm. So we've like colored some water, blue and red, and we've also even tucked down a little white hydrangea in this one. You could also like sink flowers down in them as well. So that's kind of a cool idea, just to get you lots of color on your table and not really that expensive either. Right, so and easy to do, like for the grandkids who are coming over. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and you've got an even another idea. Yeah, so we just take this uh, five by five cube vase and we wrapped it with this tie leaf right here. It's got a really cool tie leaf. And then what we've done is we've capped it off with white hydrangea. And you could leave it at that, or you could put this lemon leaf around it. And then we just, again, just put like three flags in it, which give you instant color. And you could do that down a big table. You could do several of them, or just one for a, for a party table. We also did this little three by three cube and did all red roses and put a flag in it. We thought that was cute too. It is so, cute. Lots of great ideas to brighten up your table. All right, thank you so much for bringing all that in. You're welcome. And it is not too late to add more patriotic punch to your 4th of July party. Use Greg's easy ideas to make your party perfect. My thanks to Greg for sharing these decorative and very colorful red, white, and blue, in fact, designs. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot, Lori. Find out more by calling The Greenhouse, a fresh flower market at 1-800-795-1366 or log on to www.thegreenhouseflorist.com.